Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well and it's been a while that I haven't made any videos. Uh, so I have a few news to share with you. It has been piled up and there are a lot of recent uh, uh, things that has came up. So let us discuss on uh, Accenture UI and TCS Infosys Wipro. They are a new hike appraisal and they are work from home model, uh, work from office basically these days and also a few of the you know, like recent incident uh, that is uh, that has been shown basically. So if you are tuned into my channel, I uh, would urge you to subscribe my channel because I usually keep a lot of IT related video along with some uh, thing with uh, interview and as well as a little bit on uh, cloud prospective so i'll uh, combine everything and try to give the recent news so uh, one of the news that has came and that has shocked me like you know accenture has announced a zero percent hike for the next year so they usually give hike on january so their appraisal cycle is still august and then they usually give hike to uh, january so this year accenture will not give any hike so the question the immediate question might be whether you should stay for the one more year without any hike you know in a staying in the same salary does it uh, make sense or you can whether you should switch so i'll talk about this also ui has given very less hike uh, anston young basically in gds they have given approximately two to eight percent in average they have given five percent hike uh, to their employees basically tcs infosys we pro tcs and infosys also followed the same it's five percent almost infosys slightly high in some cases where it's higher band wipro has given slightly higher in five star rating so it's slightly better but it's all like you know single digit height that we usually uh, don't see in this company reason being definitely like the where the uh, the recession or maybe the economic shutdown that we have observed in specifically us counterpart us pro us project project renewal and everything and for ui it was the project average which was not like their merger plan has got cancelled or postponed possibly so there are a lot of things and uh, things so let's uh, begin with uh, at least from accenture so accenture has announced uh, that there won't be any hike for the next year uh, and so that is a sad part because accenture is a company which is reputed for their hike they usually give approximate uh, 10 percent for default higher default rated employees and approximately 14 to 18 percent for top rated employees like uh, employee having distinct achievement tag with them da tag basically and for promoted employee they give up to 34 30 or sometimes more than that 40 percent hike also so this year they won't be give, give any hike on january so uh, the question might be arises that whether we can stay in accenture if we are currently working it the answer might be yes so reason being i can see like there was an incident in 2013 if i am not wrong when accenture has announced there won't be any hike for that year so accenture doesn't have given any hike and after that what has happened in the next year basically they have given a very good hike their hike was approximately 18 to 24 percent so to compensate one year hike they have given almost double hike in the next year so i don't feel that accenture has a bad intention they are uh, like due to huge attrition and due to huge uh, economic shutdown that every company experienced right for that reason they are might be not giving hike but it is possible that they may give a good hike in the next to next year but having said that if you feel that you are getting better opportunity in january or february uh, then you can switch definitely it's up to your decision but i would definitely say people are a little bit skeptical uh, or people are working uh, like you know going well in accenture they can possibly stay for one more year don't switch for this hike because everybody else uh, in the other companies also they didn't get good hike uh, okay so this is about accenture and one more point is uh, that should be careful in this year basically for accenture if somebody got pip please look out for your job change because this year possibly 90 percent of pip folks have to resign uh, they won't be able to clear so pip would be very tough for accenture this year and there is a possible that more than usually in accenture 10 percent of employee uh, usually get get into the pip bucket so if in this year possibly more than 10 percent so maybe 15 percent or 20 percent for some project or some role like you know some slightly junior role ac scc role there might be a possibility of 15 to 20 percent people can go for the pip so please uh, make a like you know plan so if somebody has not able to perform in this year so if if then possibly you can look for a 
job switch if you are in Accenture. So that is one news that I got from Accenture, few of the Accenture employees. And if you have something otherwise, please let me know in the comment below. I'll happy to discuss. Now uh, going to UI. UI GDS has given uh, uh, average good hike usually up to 10 to 15 percent or sometimes 18 percent. But in this year, they have given approximately 5 percent hike to their GDS employee basically. So which is kind of specifically consulting, tech consulting part. So which is not not at all good. Again, I would like to say like, you know, I was talking about few of the uh, like, you know, uh, veteran employees having 20 years in UI, uh, 15 years in UI GDS possibly. They told like this is happening for the very first time. So do not. Uh, I mean, it's very uh, early to anticipate anticipate that this may happen. So possibly next year, if they can uh, earn a good revenue, possibly they will try to manage or compensate this hike. So same for Accenture, same goes UI as well. If you are not happy with the hike, maybe you can think and then also can you may also stay back uh, to check at least the next year because these two companies are reputed for giving a good hike. Uh, in internal hike basically now uh, coming for tcs infosys wipro they have almost given the same hike tcs five percent approximate infosys has given uh slightly higher than that wipro slightly higher than that but it is all single digit in most of the cases in wipro like fifth bucket for some employee i believe it is in two digit but in most of the case it is one digit single digit hike basically again the reason might be same uh, that they couldn't do well in terms of us business basically now one point for tcs uh like you know they have uh, revoked the work from home policy so most of the project they are asking to join five days office uh and sometimes it depends on client but you know there are people who are not going to offices so what may happen what i heard from one of the tcs uh hr basically and uh, they told like it is possible that they will take some action and they won't pay the uh, like you know variable pay the quarterly variable pay that tcs usually pay in every quarter so that quarter variable pay can be cut short if they are not going offices so be very sure be try to like you know speak with uh, your hr manager rmg whatever uh, if you're in tcs and then you decide like you know i mean you cannot basically now we cannot go for a hybrid mode people are in TCS, they need to go to office. Now, as I earlier told, Wipro is following the path of Wipro. I mean, Wipro has followed, but the Infosys is following the path of uh, other company like TCS and all they are asking uh, their employee to join at least 10 days a week. And this is for the junior employee, not for the senior level. And I believe it is. it will be uh, like soon in the uh, coming next year, it will be for all the employees basically they will initially asked for two days then three days and five days so that may happen uh, from the next year basically so work from home will not be a uh, possible okay so this is all about the news that i had and uh, uh, one more point is recently i uh, I'm, I'm i'm observing basically this ai and the gen ai machine learning all kind of stuff is uh, came coming into the picture and uh, you need to at least know like the basic stuff because if you are going for the interview earlier what used to happen if you are a developer they used to see whether you have a backend knowledge if you if you have a backend knowledge whether you know angular or react or something express js like a full stack they are expect they were expecting now it was all with full stack do you know devops then it would be great now along with this do you know this ai ml so the ai ml fundamental uh, i would say like you know you go and check or if you can do some course or certification gen ai i have created a separate video of gen ai uh, certification possibly so you can check definitely so try to get a get certified with the bare minimal uh, like you know, fundamentals i mean at least try to add in your resume so that at least the ai keyword is there in order to get some calls so these days ai and ml are very much uh tempting in the market and definitely we need to uh like you know get to know all of this so just a small uh information that i would like to share that in the most of the job requirement they are also looking for a person 
who has little experience in AI ML stuff, integration or developing some uh, LLM, large language model, working some Gen AI cognitive service. So possibly uh, one more thing that I can share that uh, these days, basically, uh, if you are working in any cloud, cloud-based technology like uh, Azure or AWS, try to explore their AI service. They have like a you know, customized AI service that is very easy to implement with your existing uh, product, like creating a chatbot or creating a uh, possibly like, you know, to get a, uh, overall report and also you can use those so possibly try to explore try to integrate those aws component or azure uh, ai ml component in your uh, existing application then you can go for the open source one that is available open source lang large language model and gen ai that is available so uh, that is it for now so if you have something please do let me know in the comment below and soon i'll uh, prepare some other video for some of the cloud based certification that i have recently taken i'll share the uh, like you know what uh, the exam experience with you thank you